back to the trap and I'm flipping it. Double cup with the purple, I'm sipping it. Ay, ay. I might pull up where you stay. I might pull up, let it spread. What's good, YouTube? It's Constant, and I'm back with another fitness video. This time, I'm going to be showing you guys how to lose body fat or how to lower your body fat levels. Y'all can see in my picture that like all my veins are showing and stuff. It took me a while to get to this point, and you really have to focus on three things. And it's a lot easier than it seems when you really, you really like stick to a consistent schedule. I know a lot of people think like working out and being healthy is hard, but I'd say the hardest part about it is your diet. And you might have to give up certain foods, but you really don't have to give them up as long as you eat them in moderation. Like you can't be eating a whole tray of cookies, stuff like that. You can't be drinking a whole bunch of soda every day. So first off, I'm gonna start with your workouts or how active you're being in the day if you're doing any type of strength training like lifting weights or calisthenics which is like push-ups pull-ups sit-ups stuff like this that's basically the fastest way to lose fat or to burn off calories because your body's working way harder if you notice you're gonna sweat way more like if you go to the gym and you lift weights and you do a whole bunch of stuff you're gonna sweat way more than if you're just running on the treadmill which is gonna get your heart rate up but it's not gonna force your body to do as much work as lifting weights. So if you really wanna lose weight, burn calories, or lower your body fat percentage, whatever you call it, you're gonna wanna do type do any type of strength training or you know high interval intensity training, which is basically doing very doing workouts that require a lot of intensity, that require a lot of power and energy, and do small periods of rest time. So your body can keep burning calories, your body's gonna keep working at it. You don't wanna just be lifting light weights and you know, you're not building up a sweat, it's not challenging your body. And calisthenics, I would say is the best way to do this. You can do it at home, you don't need weights, you don't need anything. Maybe a pull-up bar, you would need it, or you can just hold on to anything. You can use the pull-up bar, you can use the little ledge on top of your door or whatever. You just do push-ups at home. I'd say do whatever you feel like, is half of what you can do, stop for a little bit, small rest time, like 60 seconds at most, and then get back to it, keep doing it. You're gonna start sweating probably around the second time, maybe the first time if you're new to this, but you're gonna build up a sweat. When you stand up, I don't know, you can do jumping jacks, a whole bunch of different types of workouts. You guys can look this part up on your own to pick whatever workout you prefer. If you wanna see me make a workout video of what I do, then just leave a comment or like the video and then I'll put one out. But the second thing you really want to focus on, which a lot of people don't focus on much, is if you really find it hard to work out or to lift weights and stuff like this, you can also do cardio, you can jog, you can run, or you can even walk. It's better than sitting down and doing nothing, going for a walk at least 20 minutes a day. Or if you, know, if you have access to a pool or like by a beach, you can swim. I know it's not, it might not be the easiest thing to do right now, but... You could also ride your bike. That's another good way to get into cardio. And you know, you can even dance at home to some music if you want. You're gonna burn calories doing this. But like I said, the fastest way you're gonna burn calories is doing strength training, which is requiring your muscles to contract. Your muscles are doing the work. So push-ups, pull-ups, bench press, sit-ups, uh, squats, a whole bunch of stuff. Y'all probably get the idea. A lot of people mislook the fact that you're also gonna need to get at least seven hours of sleep a day. If you're not getting enough sleep, what's happening when you stay up really, really late in the night and like you don't recover for that sleep you made is your body is gonna lower your metabolism because you're gonna be hungry at, at night. And if you're not hungry, I mean, if you are hungry, you're gonna be eating more in a single day than you would if you were sleeping. So what your body does is it's gonna raise your metabolism I mean, lower your metabolism. So your metabolic rate is gonna be a lot slower. So the amount of fat your body burns off is gonna slow down because you're being up in the night when you shouldn't be, you should be sleeping. When your body's at rest, your body is gonna keep its metabolic rate normal. So you have to get at least seven hours of sleep. I'd say eight is the best. I mean, if you're really tired, if you're really working out a lot, you're probably gonna need nine, especially if you're doing a lot of cardio and stuff now with the, it has to do with your diet as well you can't just do all of this and have horrible eating habits and expect you know a difference so a lot of people they drink a lot of juice a lot of soda just simply replacing juice soda and smoothies milkshakes with water 
is gonna save you big time because the amount of calories in one cup of soda probably be around 200 300 now instead of working to burn all of this off if you were to just drink a cup of water with your meal or like a lot of people just drink soda all day not even eating a meal or something just cut that out if you were to just drink water or at least get some flavor for your water that's gonna be like maybe 50 to 90 calories instead of like 300 for that much soda you're gonna save a lot of calories that you would have to burn off otherwise and drinking water is good for you it's also gonna you know it's gonna it's just healthy for you it's gonna make your veins pop more when you drink water instead of drinking a whole bunch of sodium and stuff like this and your body's just gonna be all types of messed up water's gonna clear your skin it's gonna make you more healthy and just it's gonna be better for you now another thing a lot of people like they say oh they, they love to eat so that's why you know they started gaining weight and that's why they don't have like as much definition in their muscles but if you pay attention to the stuff you eat you might start to notice like eating a lot of pastries a lot of chips this stuff is gonna be bad for you because if you notice eating a whole bag of chips you're really not gonna feel any type of fullness from it so you really want to focus more of the stuff you're eating on protein and healthy fats healthy fats are like peanuts avocados foods with coconut oil stuff like this it's a lot better than other types of fats that you can find in all kinds of junk food cake frosting you guys probably get the idea and when you raise your protein intake it'll keep you full longer so if you were to eat one piece of chicken you wouldn't feel hungry for like probably one two hours but if you eat one bag of chips when you're hungry you're still gonna feel hungry like right after you eat it it's not gonna be enough you probably have to eat five bags of chips to feel that you're not hungry anymore when you can eat one piece of chicken and you wouldn't be hungry anymore and the calories in the one piece of chicken the protein is going to be good for you and good for your muscles but the calories in that bag of chips isn't going to help you at all it has no nutrients it has nothing that's going to benefit you so basically i broke it down into five things that you're going to need to do to start lowering your body fat and if you do this every day then you're going to see a big difference probably within a week you'll see a difference you're going to feel better you're going to be more active less tired and probably within a month you're really going to start to be able to see a difference in the mirror so one you're going to want to work out you're going to want to do types of strength training high interval intensity training i suggest that you know you just look it up like i said if you want to see me make a video leave a comment and i'll make a video on whatever type of workout you want me to do i can show you whatever you want Two, you're gonna wanna do cardio if you can, running, jogging, walking, swimming, biking, even dancing, whatever you feel like doing. Put on your favorite music and dance however you want to it. Three, you're gonna wanna get at least seven hours of sleep. I know a lot of people wanna stay up late, especially with this quarantine going on, so you can stay up late. Like You're gonna stay up until 4 a.m. in the morning. You better sleep until at least 11 in the morning. You don't wake up at eight o'clock in the morning, get back on your video games again. That's only four hours of sleep and your metabolism is gonna fuck itself so you want to get at least seven hours of sleep eight is probably the best you can do for yourself if you're being really really active like working out every day doing cardio every day get yourself nine hours of sleep just to recover from that stuff and you also want to cut out juice soda milkshakes smoothies all types of stuff with water but doing this by itself is just gonna give you results and five you want to eat more healthy fats and more protein because it'll keep you full longer and you're not gonna have to eat as much so you're gonna be eat, consuming less calories and your calorie intake your average calorie intake will be lower and your body is gonna start dropping the fat that it's holding and you're gonna start to see more definition in your muscles your veins are gonna start to pop more and yeah, it'll just be better for you. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. It was constant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have about 645 subscribers while I'm making this video. So once I hit 1,000 in about two weeks or so, I'll be able to monetize my video. If you don't know what this means, then I'll be able to start getting paid for making my YouTube videos. I've been putting in a lot of work on my channel. So I really appreciate if you guys can hit the sub button or even the like button if you haven't already. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this. And I'm on the road to the cash, you niggas be mad, my niggas gon' double up And I'm on the road
Bitches in your fast, pick up, I don't pass, niggas better buckle up Serving so fast, I might crash, need these on my ass, I'm doing a dash No, I can't help but get in my bag, no, I'm in my bag, get into the cash Ay, Young nigga, 17, this is the better me, live but you cannot relate, no I get some bread on me, know it's a friend of me, waving this shit when I